last night, Truth Talk News Live, Fight the New World Order, was once again targeted by the elements of the COINTELPRO goon squad, uh, most definitely due to the fact that we have exposed, on many occasions, Anthony J. Hilder, True Ott, and of course, the alliances that have been formed. Uh, interestingly enough, Anthony J. Hilder is saying that, without directly calling, saying my name, or, or, or Truth Talk News, or but, but certainly including uh, Barbara Hartwell, and Sherry Kane and Dr. Len Horowitz as an alliance, but certainly the alliance is, is complete with Truth Talk News Live, and we are being targeted. Once again, the broadcast was targeted. This time, there were people watching it happen live and were commenting in the chat bars and, and uh, realized that was going on. And this time, it was a very sophisticated hack because somebody must have been watching because the words were manipulated in such a way to form an opinion. They were edited live. Now, there is a three-second delay. There is a three-second delay. So it gives them the opportunity to manipulate words. And they did it in such a way where a, a false, false opinions were, were certainly uh, rendered. And the video is up there on Livestream.com, Truth Talk News. You can check that up and see it for yourself. But the information was manipulated, and it was not just a... A, a streaming issue. It was it was more than just a streaming issue, and certainly because I know right clearly well, it said perfect streaming in my broadcast uh, icon. So once again, we were targeted. Fortunately, I'm joined by Barbara Hartwell, or Barbara Hartwell is joining me uh, to discuss what happened last night. I know, you know, I couldn't. I, I Chris was unable to attend again last night, and he's not on this broadcast, but let, let's talk about what happened last night and the um, COINTELPRO origins, operations, and uh, the, the goal of this whole thing, and how interesting it is, Barbara, that we have Anthony Hilder saying that they're trying to divide people where he's the divider. Let's, let's touch on that. Okay, Howard, good morning. Good morning. Uh, yes, I was on the broadcast with you yesterday evening, and there was heavy sabotage. And uh, so we're hoping that we can explain precisely what happened and what the subject matter is. And let me start by talking about a video, a video that was made by Anthony J. Hilder and present at the taping, whatever they call it these days, uh, was True Ott. Okay, they were together in the same room, which I consider to be significant because that means True Ott would have had to travel, I guess, to California in order to do this broadcast. Right. I believe he lives in Utah. All right, so in the video, basically it was an attack piece, a hit piece, and the title was Horror Kane, which was a reference to Dr. Leonard Horowitz and Sherry Kane, who have heavily exposed Truott and Anthony J. Hilder and others, as I have done, uh, for what they are. And what they're doing is they're running a counterintelligence operation. And of course, previously involved until his death in 2011 was a former uh, FBI senior special agent in charge bureau chief Ted L. Gunderson and uh, he was he was the kingpin of the COINTELPRO he was that when he was inside for 27 years and he continued to be de facto COINTELPRO until the day that he died okay let's explain this so then really wasn't it credited and I guess this was this came out on the broadcast when Hilder was, was a guest on, on my radio show in 2011 when they ambushed him, Sherry and, and Len ambushed him, rightly so, and I was upset about it at the time, but then my research led me to, to the truth, and the truth is, yes, he is counterintelligence, CIA, and 
when you look at the whole situation, he was saying all of these bizarre things, uh, and we, they caught him right on the right on the channel there. They caught him right right on the spot. And the biggest deception is that he stated that he and uh, Ted Gunderson single-handedly founded and created the Truth Movement. He admitted it on air. Okay. Well, or, then, or it was or it was discussed here, on air. Here's the thing, Howard. That's that's a very definitive statement, which I don't necessarily believe. I certainly do believe that the counterintelligence operations are responsible for the control I know that they are responsible for the controlled opposition they can't control everyone mm -hmm. they certainly can swing the opinion swing That's the, the opinion. whole point they spin and they swing the opinion of the public look they know this stuff is going to come out right. all kinds of all kinds of government lies crimes cover-ups conspiracies they can't they can't keep it under wraps so what they do is they get people whose specialty is counterintelligence and what they'll do is they'll be out in the media. Alex Jones is a perfect example who was also named in this broadcast last night by Anthony Helder and Truat. And of course they promote Alex Jones as one of the good guys. All right, we've seen that. Mm -hmm. Ted Gunderson, John DeCamp, Doug Millar, these people have, have been at this for years, decades we're talking about now, Howard. Okay, and so in in the broadcast with Hilder and Ott, true Ott, so called, accused me, Barbara Hartwell, of attacks on Ted Gunderson. Attacks on Ted Gunderson. And the way he represented it was as if the so called attacks were a recent thing, starting maybe in 2010 or something, because of Len Horowitz and Sherry Kane. And here's the fact. The fact of the matter is that I had known Ted Gunderson from 1997 and worked with him for three years until 2000 when I cut off my association with Ted Gunderson for cause. When I discovered through my own experiences and my own investigations that Ted Gunderson was in fact not a truth teller, not a hero, not a whistleblower, but a counterintelligence agent. All right? That's that's the nature of the beast. That's who Ted Gunderson Well, that's what started was. this whole... Every, and it's so funny and it's so startling because you were so close and then he went directly, as soon as he couldn't lure you back, he went directly into having you attacked by people like Timothy Patrick White yes, and others. he did. And let me tell you the big lie. Here's the big lie promoted by Ted Gunderson from the moment he recognized that I was gone. I was out of there, away from him and not working with him, just continuing to expose the truth as I had always done, even before I knew Ted Gunderson. All right, so the big lie is Barbara Hartwell is a CIA disinfo agent. And that lie, as you well know how it has spread all over the internet. It has basically destroyed my reputation, destroyed my good name, it has stopped me from getting donations, which I was getting in the past on somewhat a regular basis. And that's, the donations uh, were, were instrumental, not only for me to continue my work, but my, for my very survival. And they've now driven me into a state of complete and utter destitution. As you know, Howard, I'm yes. doing this from a safe house here. And... Uh, I've lost my home. I've lost almost everything I owned. And it is because of these government rat bastards, as I call them. Th these campaigns against an individual called a neutralization campaign, they are very real and they do massive damage. Okay? And, and their, their objective, according to, let, let's go back to the CIA PSYOPs manual isolation, alienation, deprivation. They want to, you to lose all your support. If you had a support network of family and friends, they will destroy it one way or another. They'll ruin your reputation. They will drive you into destitution. They will make it so it's almost impossible to survive, even to survive. And so 
when they start targeting somebody, anybody who tried to help me, including you, okay, then now, now you're targeted, all right? And, and you've also been out there promoting the work of other people who are telling the truth, other whistleblowers and journalists who are telling the truth. The attacks by Sherry Kane and a lady named Barbara Hartwell and everybody started really hammering Ted to discredit Ted from this, this body of information. And it was very upsetting to, to Ted. Um, she hadn't been attacking me yet, but she was surely attacking and making all these character assassinations on, on Ted, saying he was uh, co-intel pro, misinformation, disinformation. And I said on record to Ted, why, why would you be opening these, these files that you know, expose this whole thing if you're misinformation, if you're a part of it. The Michael Aquino connection to the, uh, the military, the, the John Alexander connections. And, so, and Ted was, was staying at, at my house that evening, and I'll never forget, this was what part of the time, last time he was really vocal before he went really downhill fast with his cancer. And he, you know, he's a tough guy. He's, he's an American hero, a, a macho kind of guy. And Ted Gunderson broke down and cried, you know. And he said, I couldn't stop it because of the power of this cabal. Yeah. And you have been, you, I, I have a lot of respect for you, Howard, as I've said before, because when you, when someone presents you with the truth, you don't stay in denial. Like when you thought Hilder was a good guy. That's Maybe right. at one time you thought Alex Jones was I a did. good guy. I did. I supported looked. Alex Jones for, for, for years. Okay. You looked into it. Okay, now, as you know, I never supported any of these people. I always knew who they were. However, you were willing and able to look for the truth. And when you found it, you stood for it. And you got targeted for it. Yeah. It's true. And a lot of things have happened. Um, but... When you, when you look at it, it's like you're saying to yourself, we're trying to get this message out and they're trying to confuse it. So that video that we're talking about, the, 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 the Hilder Truat video, confused many facts. As you said, first of all, the times and dates and were all messed up. The second thing was that he, he was trying to uh, stay that you, that Lennon Sherry are attacking him when all he does is attack others. All of these people that are attacking others claim that they're being attacked because of a response from an attack. So it's in other words, it's like I attack you, then you respond, and then I say, you're attacking me, you're attacking me. That doesn't make any Let's sense. Clarify that. Let's clarify that. Let's clarify that. <clears throat> I have been continuously accused, falsely accused, oh, yes. for many, many years of, quote, attacking people. Right. 